going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 20 of our Leon Career Mode, and today we are going to get through five games. We are going to sim the Toulouse game, sim the Guingamp game, and we are going to play Arsenal, Montpellier, and then Brest in the Coupe de la Ligue. And hopefully... We can make up some ground on PSG. They have played nine, one all nine. We had that really tough loss last episode to them. And it makes the gap eight points, as you can see. They're going to be tough to catch. And hopefully, though, we can go ahead and do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the second team out there. I worry a little bit, but the second team's out there. We'll see if we can beat Toulouse at home with the second team. Ought to be able to. And a 5-1 victory there, and Ager is hurt. And we have been, every time we sim a game, it is a long-term injury. Every single time. But we don't have the time to get through all these. They'll get through the whole season before the new FIFA comes out. So we have to get a couple extra whenever we can. We have to get an extra sim or two in there. And we have been paying the price, to say the least. In terms of injuries, it's really, really getting to us. Um, what have I done there? I pressed X. I really hope that it, he got carted off. It's got to be another four months. It's always four months at the moment. Three months there. MCL for Ager. Of course. Ah, <laughs> of course. At the moment, let's take a look at the squad. Last year, we had issues with our back four there. Ager out three months. Ikone now out four months. Every time we sim, we seem to get a a really serious injury. Depay played that game as well, which is going to be tough to see if we can get back to fitness. But an offer is coming for Kone. Keep, people keep offering for Kone, but I kind of want to keep Kone around just in case we get another one of these crazy injuries at left or right back. You know, it is what it is. But let's jump into this. A big old game here. Arsenal, Leon. We're three points ahead of Arsenal. If we can go ahead and win this game or our next two, we can open up a six or nine point lead over Arsenal. And that would really, really put us in a position to go ahead and go through into the next round. Um, what we're going to do here is bring Camavinga onto the bench. And that should do it. So let's jump into this game. Arsenal, Leon. Let's go. Did peel off the back. We're on the ball here. And can we clip that ball through the middle? We can. And Awar, what a touch from Awar. The midfielder. Oh, he's dragged it just wide. That was an excellent, excellent touch to get into that space. Tried to slam it home near post. Just wide. Trying to nick it off Saka. Can't quite do it. And he goes for goal from distance. What a save. That was an excellent, excellent hit as well. I'm not sure who took that. I think it was Saka. So that was an incredible save. Nicely played. Can we play one more? We can. And here's Lamar. And Lamar steps inside. Brilliant from Lamar. Brilliant. Oh, good save. Depay. Oh, my God. It was Dembele, not Depay. And Dembele got a big old header on that. And it hits Socrates and stays out of the back of the net. He was still on the floor of the goalkeeper. No chance he was getting to that. Oof, big block. Corner set to come in as we look for a second half lead. Headed down, comes to Awar, clips it back in, and that was not exactly what I was hoping for when I pressed that button. But it's a decent turn from Depay. Brilliant, really. Cuts back inside, and oh, decent save there by Leno in goal. Really good cut back inside from Depay. That's going to get headed out. Lamar. Oh, can't quite do enough with it. Stepping up with the ball. Nice touch on. It's Rashika. Rashika can play one more out to Depay. Nicely done. And it's Depay. Oh, he's in off the post. And on 71 minutes, we've taken the lead here in England. And we've had a really good record here in England, haven't we, since we joined Leon? This will be the third different team we would have beaten here in England should we go ahead and win this game. But this is an excellent finish. Oh, in off the post. No chance for Leno. Perfectly placed from the Dutchman. And it just, just curls in, doesn't it? An excellent, excellent finish from Memphis Depay. And we're 1-0 up with 18 minutes to go. Denier. Trying to cover. Lacazette, it gets played out there. 
Yeah, Nuzai finds a really good ball in, and oh, it's 1-1. Very quickly, Arsenal level it. 80 minutes gone, it's 1-1. Our lead didn't last long, and I thought we had that covered. We were covering it pretty well. But they find a way back into it. It gets played out wide. I was hoping to cover that gap. I almost did. But he finishes it near post. Not ideal. And with 10 minutes to go, we're level. Kakare. Kakare does well. Finds our also, and he gets it through. And it's Kakare! There it is! And we've retaken the lead, and what a topsy-turvy last 20 minutes we've had here. And we have done it again. We lead here in England once again. 2-1. That's brilliant from the two midfielders. He's, Kakare just back heels it through the legs of the midfielder there. Gets played back to him. And then an excellent, excellent finish from the young midfielder, Leno. Absolutely no chance. And with five minutes to go, we've taken the lead. Three goals in the last 15 minutes in this game. And at the moment, we may be on our way as Kakare cuts back inside. Kakare! Oh, good save. Could have found Depay, who was coming in late. But Kakare is just feeling it a little bit. As that comes to Kanate, who takes it down as a pop. Not the greatest of attempts. Oh, almost take it here. There's a minute to go. Can we hold on to this? That's a brilliant tackle. He gets played forward to Cornet. Slip through. Rashika. Play it in he can. Awar. Oh, huge block. And then offside in the end. There's two minutes to go here. And we've just got to hold a clean sheet for two minutes. Can we do it? That header is very strange, but... Comes into our possession, which is the most important part. We just get it there. There's Depay. Finds Kakare, who's been brilliant since he came on. And that is it. A huge win here over Arsenal. A 2-1 win away from home. That is massive. Absolutely massive. We go six points ahead of the English team. And is our other game in there how come our other games never with us oh there it is inter have won so we are three points ahead of inter six ahead of arsenal with three games to go so that is excellent excellent stuff trincao just started that champions league game needs to play more often i don't know what else to say to the guy but let's jump into this game it's another big game montpellier who played really really well last year coming into this game not as high up the table as they were last year but Still very much a threat. So, let's jump into it. Let's change a couple of players out here. Um, Kamavinga can come onto the bench. And Jean Lucas. Do I want to start him? No. We're not going to start him right now. I need to play him some more, but not right this moment. So, let's jump into it. Montpellier, Leon. Let's go. Back in. Dembele. One more. Depay again. Depay just cutting back inside, finding the space. And Dembele did well! 1-1. One, one. I lied, it's 1-0. Why did I say 1-1? One, one? It's 1-0. One, Dembele did so well, he just peeled off the back of this. Depay found the space, and he went off the back of the center back, and that is an absurdly good finish. Incredibly prolific, that. That's an excellent finish, isn't it? A really, really good finish. Just side-footed it. Right into the bottom corner. An extremely good finish. And we've taken a 1-0 lead here. And it's not 1-1. It's actually 1-0. Regardless of what I've said. Trincao doing excellently well. And that gets slipped back post. Brilliant from Trincao and Lamar. Almost scoring an incredibly acrobatic goal. He got up there. Instead of lowering his head. He got up there with his foot. Skews it wide. That's incredibly difficult though. You, you think going with the head. It's an easy goal. Should be two, but fun to look at, I guess. Trincao. It's played nicely. Can we slip that through? We can. And Depay's onside. And Depay, wow, what a finish. First time into the back of the net. That's an absurd finish from Depay. Incredible, really. What a finish on the volley. Taking it out of the air. That is incredible from Depay. Look at this. Dembele sees the run, clips it way up into the air. And with the left foot, he volleys it into the back of the net. 
absurd. Goalie might be doing better there, but don't take away from the technique needed to do such a thing. An excellent, excellent goal, and right before halftime, we're 2 0 up. Here's Depay now. Still holding on to it. Brilliant from Depay, and he can slip it into Awar as well. 3 0. And that's brilliant from Depay, who's having a heck of a game here. He just held on to that, drew the center back in, found the run from Awar. Who made no mistake with the finish. But that is all down to Depay here. Just holding the play up. Getting through. That extra touch there. And that is a really, really good finish as well from Awar. And it's 3-0 in a game that should have been much more difficult at the moment we're cruising. Clip forward. One more. Bit of space out here. It's Dembele moving forward here. We find Kamavinga, he can. Kamavinga can find Depay. What a turn from Depay, that's a penalty. And of course, Depay draws it. He's been brilliant today. He just gets bought down after the turn. Simple as that. It's a nice turn, and yeah, just knee into him. Dembele set to take the penalty. And he's just inside the post. It's a great penalty from Dembele. It's 4-0 here. There are boos around the stadium. And we have been dominant from front to back here over Montpellier. A bit of a fall from grace. Maybe overachieved last year. But this year it seems like that number is going to be difficult to find. They have not very, not played very well today. And it's 4-0 with 15 minutes to go. Nice. One more. Gets it into Depay here. And Depay! Oh, he's hit the oh, bloody outside of the post. What a finish that would have been to just cap off an unbelievable performance from the Dutchman. Ever so close that. Excellent football here from Montpellier. That's lovely stuff. And it gets played back to the top of the box. And there it is. Last kick of the game. They get a consolation. Bad dude with it. He's been a bit of a handful he's pretty quick for a man of his size he grabs the goal but it's not going to mean anything 4-1's going to be the final that gets slipped in and just can't get out there almost gets a foot on it Kanate just goes right over it but an excellent excellent display and a really really important result we have to continue to win and a win over a very tough opponent here away from home is just what we needed. An excellent, excellent result. And hopefully, we can always hope and pray that PSG maybe have dropped something somewhere. They haven't. They beat Satatien 3-0. So, they continue to win. 10 games, 10 wins. Yeah. It's going to be tough <laughs> to catch them up, isn't it? But a very good win over a very, very tough team. But now we move into the Coupe de la Ligue. It is going to be another tough one. We were knocked out in the quarterfinal last year. We were knocked out of both cups two games running. It was very, very difficult. But let's see if we can work ourselves forward here. It's a tough game. Brest are no walkovers. I like those black jerseys there. But it looks like we may do a bit of a change. I am going to bring Trincao off for Cornet. Trincao carrying a slight injury last time round. And Depay has to play, doesn't he? And then we'll start Anderson. Kind of want to start Kakare as well. But I think I'm going to start in my head of Gamaris instead. So let's jump into this. Leon Brest. A big game. Let's go. Oh, there's space out here on the right. Gets played forward here. What a turn and oh god, what a save. And what a hit. That's an excellent attempt from Zamata. Wow, that is incredible. He just kind of lifted it up, and the Ultimate does that. It's just the way they have a hand on it, but he was very far away. I didn't think that f forced such a good save. Excellent save. Oh, nicely played through the gap. Stamata. Oh, and I've I've lost him. 1-0 to Brest. Dreadful defending on my end. I was just trying to keep pace with him. Knew exactly where it was going and everything. And we've just gotten the wrong side. And Brest are going to be a pain to break down here. Every time we get the ball, they have six, seven, eight men back right from the get-go. I tried to step in front, and I've just gone too far. He slips it past Lopez. 
one nil on 20 minutes not what we wanted against a team who plays like this or the right side of the box it's the top of the box now can't quite take him down oh that sneaks through and lopez in the right place at the right time a bit lucky for breast but we escape nicely done it's a good play out there gets clipped into a really good space header comes in and it's straight at the goalkeeper how have we been beaten to that header? Really poor run from the defender there. Just really, really bad. And Lopez came out to get that, didn't get that, and he puts the header way over. Another chance goes begging for Brest, and at the moment we are struggling. Can we win this high up the pitch? We can. We slip it forward, we can. And here's Dembele. A really bad mistake from Brest. And it's 1-1. I thought he missed it, Dembele, but... A huge mistake right before halftime lets us back into this. We were struggling to create. And that's a big mistake. You got to clear it. Play it back to the goalkeeper or something. But he lets us have it. Dembele slips inside. Finishes it off right into the bottom corner. It's a nice finish. As I said, I thought he missed it. But with the last kick of the half, we grab a goal. And now we're back in it. Kakare. Out wide to Lamar. It's back into Kakare. Does well to take it. Slips it out. That's a penalty. It is. And we have a chance to take the lead here. Kakare with a lovely little 1 2. Plays it off. Gets away. That man brings him down. A bit late, really. Plays it off. Yeah, he just slides in, hoping to tackle it. Kakare plays it off perfectly. Dembele. Can he grab his second of the game? He can. Just inside the post, a perfect penalty, really. That would have been tough to get to if he went the right way. And a quick turnaround here, 10 minutes. And that goal there has really let us back into it. That's an excellent penalty, it really, really is from Dembele. His second of the game, second in 10 minutes. And we're 2-1 ahead. Oh, we've given it right away. Anderson, big touch, good save. Poor giveaway there. DeMonta goes off. Thank God. He has been an absolute menace this entire game. Whew. We force a save. Here's Rene Adelaide. And Lamar's making a run up this left-hand side. And Lamar trying to get away. Just pulled back. One more here. And he finds Awar in space. And Awar. Oh, good save. Rene Adelaide is offside. Puts it wide anyway of an open net. 13 minutes to go. Can we hold off and move into the next round? Nicely done. Proud out wide. It's a decent ball to the top of the box. He goes for goal. It's a good save from Lopez. Can we clear this? Oh, we've given it right back to them. Drags it over and it comes into Lopez and he gathers. Free kick to breast. A minute to go in their own half. Can they? Find a late equalizer that I believe would take this straight to penalties. We pick it up here. One more. Gets it out wide to Lamar. Nicely done. Gets a little bit lucky as that comes back to him. And Dembele is in a decent spot here. Still holding on. We drag it out wide. It looks like we are going to come away with the win as that ball comes in. It falls down. Hours now. Oh, deflection in the box. And that's it. Game over and we move on. A really good half hour has made up for a really poor hour. We were really good for a half hour, scored both our goals, created a bunch of chances in that spot, and the rest we were kind of just holding on. And not great. Not a really, not a great game at all, really. But we progress. And that is obviously the most important part. An excellent, excellent result in the end. And we will hopefully continue on and as you can see Paris 11 games 11 wins still eight points ahead and we have a game here against Queen Gamp. we are going to sim it we are going to go with the first team as well hopefully no injuries here and hopefully a win they haven't had the greatest start to the year a 2-0 victory no injuries as well that's exactly what you want to see and we get through with the win next episode as you can see we start with arsenal a win there against arsenal would move us into the next round 
which would obviously be ideal as soon as possible. And then we can go ahead and move past the Champions League as we have five um, things here. Training injury. Kanate, four weeks, hyperextended knee. So we didn't have anything go wrong in the game. We had a four-week injury go wrong instead in training, which is... Oh, God. <laughs> which is just... It's just perfect. The injuries keep on piling up. It's been uh, not so great, and we're dealing with it. Um, as for player of the episode, I am going to go with Depay. He didn't really have a great last game, but that middle game there where we played Inter, not Inter, um, we played Montpellier. He was unbelievable and an unbelievable volley, and he's got to be the man. So next episode, we have Arsenal, Stad Rene, Angers, Spartak, if we beat Arsenal and we get to extra sim here, we may do Arsenal, Stad Rene are ahead of us, so we'll do Arsenal, Stad Rene, we'll sim on Jair. If we don't have to do this game against Spartak, we'll sim that one and then we'll jump into Brest and we maybe get through November all in next episode. And look at this, we have a lot of games, six and three weeks in December. It's going to be very, very tough, guys, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned, of course, for more, and peace.